All right, now that we have started receiving the stable One UI 4.0 on most devices, one fascinating feature which we all are most interested in is the color palette which offers a delightful experience while using the phone as we unlock this all new customization feature. Let's deep dive and discuss more about this feature in this video and I'd like to know your thoughts about this feature in the comment section below. While you share your thoughts, be sure to subscribe and leave a like for this video. Now let's get rolling. There are two ways to access color palette customization options. First one is by opening the settings, tap on wallpapers and styles. Here we see color palette. Tap on this to choose the color palette you want. The second way is to get an access to this option while you apply a specific wallpaper. Let me quickly show that to you. Let's open gallery. Let's select a wallpaper and tap on set it as wallpaper on the home screen. This is where we get to customize the color palette. Now these color palettes are automatically created by the AI based on the colors available on a wallpaper. To get better results in terms of color mix options, it is always better to go with a wallpaper which contains multiple colors on it. The more colors we have on the wallpaper, better the color palettes produced by the AI which in turn results in better looking theme on the UI. Let me demonstrate this for you. As you can see, this is a wallpaper which is mostly green in color and there are no multiple colors available here on this. When we apply this wallpaper, as you can see, the color palettes are mostly in green and in different shades of green. So this is a bit boring theme one would prefer to apply. Now let's go back to the gallery and let's find a colorful wallpaper. Now let's apply this wallpaper and customize the color palette. As you can see, we have pink, blue, kind of green and mix of blue and pink option which are nice. So it's always better to apply a wallpaper with more colors. While we apply the colors, we also get to choose whether we want to apply these colors on the application icons or not. And this option is really important to a lot of people because if you don't want only the system apps getting the colors and rest of the third party apps looking weird on the app tray, then you can skip customizing the icons. Now the dark mode. Does the dark mode affect these color customization in any way? No, it doesn't. We will be able to apply the same color options even in dark mode, unlike the themes from Samsung Theme Store, which don't work if the dark mode is on. Anyways, now the question is how effective this customization feature is. If you ask me, I would say this is not yet up to the mark or not really pleasing to my eyes. There are multiple areas on the phone where the colors are not pronounced. It looks quite boring in settings menu. In fact, there are no colors at all on the settings except for the light tint in the background. Even on the quick panel, only these toggles and brightness bar gets color. I would prefer to see the notification panel and background also getting some sort of colors. The third party icons should have got some color background to make them look uniform. There are many other areas or the layouts where the color palettes could have been applied. But this is what we have as of now. This customization was already made available by Samsung through its theme park engine on Goodlock application. However, Goodlock app is available in limited regions and on limited devices. So yes, we have color palette option, which is fantastic. Kudos to Samsung for bringing this feature on One UI. Having said this, there is a lot of room for improvement as well. What do you think about it? Let me know your thoughts about this feature in the comment section below. That's all I want to share with you guys. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.